you have, maybe. Can you repeat, please? Yes. Uh, people uh, work in. How can I say in verdadero? Greenhouse. In a greenhouse. People working in a greenhouse. Okay. Uh, let's continue. What kinds of farms are there in your country? In Mexico or? Yeah, in Mexico. Uh, in Mexico, let's go with country, in Mexico. Okay, in Mexico, maybe like, Don't worry, we can have a commercial, semi-commercial and uh, urban farming. But what do they grow? Uh, maybe fruit, vegetables. Okay, fruit and vegetables. Do you constantly buy fruits and vegetables? Um, well, my mother. Your mom. Usually, yes, my mom. Usually buy um, maybe on weekends. Okay. Spe specifically on Sunday. Uh, she buy. She buys. Onion, she buys onion, carrots, and. and Maybe uh, fruit like apples or something like that. Yeah. Are the products you buy from your city or imported from another city? Well, sometimes the fruit you buy on supermarket, but in but all of the vegetables are like in the market. But are the products uh, grown here locally? or they, are they imported from another city? To be honest, I'm not sure. Okay, you're not sure. Is there always enough? Mm, for one week, yes. Sometimes she, she buys more for two weeks. And what about the supermarket? In the supermarket, the supermarket is, there, market, is there always enough? Yes. Very nice. That's good. Now, what do you see in the screen? I see. Uh, someone plant a tree or yeah, a some, vegetable. Someone is planting vegetables. Letter A, picture A. People yeah. are planting plants, right? What about B? What is the person in B doing? Is put water on plants. Oh, plants, okay. What about C? Like recollect? Collecting, yes. Uh, this is sowing. Yeah, or harvesting. What about D? What is D? City. A city. What is this? Uh, a building. A big building. Now, listen to the radio interview. Only listen to it, okay? By the year 2025, the world population is expected to rise to 8 billion. In order to grow enough food, it is estimated that 1 billion hectares, almost 2.5 billion acres, of new land will be needed. That is, if the farming methods that are practiced today continue. Environmentalists say something must be done if food shortages are going to be avoided. That's why the idea of vertical farming is being discussed at an eco-conference this week. Celia Hernandez, our environmental correspondent, joins me. Celia, 
What is vertical farming, and where did the idea come from? The idea was developed by Dixon Despomier, a professor at Columbia University, back in 1999. Vertical farms are basically high-rise greenhouses that can be built in cities. So crops will be grown indoors and in water instead of in soil. And what are the advantages of growing food in this way? Well, supporters say it's more reliable because crops won't be affected by weather conditions like drought or cold. It's also more environmentally friendly because waste can be composted and water will be recycled. And because crops will be grown, harvested, and consumed in the same urban area, transportation costs will be greatly reduced. So in theory, food should be cheaper too. There. What's the interview about? Um, I think it's, it's about the future. Yeah. About the future? Who is Celia? Um, Celia is a... I don't think the... it's a student. I'm not... No? Uh, is she a what? student? No. What are the predictions for the year 2025? Like, maybe we have an idea for, for the vegetables to be more cheap, to be, okay. cheaper, to be cheaper. Okay. What kind of farming is being discussed at the, at the conference? Someone well, like, it's more like vegetables, but artificial, something like that. And which photo illustrates the topic? I think it's letter D. Letter D? Yeah. So let's mark letter D. Now the next thing we got to do is answer the questions. So who is Celia? What are the predictions for the year 2025? And what kind of farming is being discussed at the conference? Are you ready? Yes. By the year 2025, the world population is expected to rise to 8 billion. In order to grow enough food, it is estimated that 1 billion hectares, almost 2.5 billion acres, of new land will be needed. That is, if the farming methods that are practiced today continue. Environmentalists say something must be done if food shortages are going to be avoided. That's why the idea of vertical farming is being discussed at an eco-conference this week. Celia Hernandez, our environmental correspondent, joins me. Celia, what is vertical farming and where did the idea come from? The idea was developed by Dixon Despomier, a professor at Columbia University back in 1999. Vertical farms are basically high-rise greenhouses that can be built in cities. So crops will be grown indoors and in water instead of in soil. And what are the advantages of growing food in this way? Well, supporters say it's more reliable because crops won't be affected by weather conditions like drought or cold. It's also more environmentally friendly because waste can be composted and water will be recycled. And because crops will be grown, harvested, and consumed in the same urban area, transportation costs will be greatly reduced. So in theory, food should be cheaper too. Hi, Liliana. Hi, Dishan. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. OK, ladies, so who is Celia? No idea. No. No. What are the predictions for the year 2025? Uh, I think um, I, a vertical farmer. I'm not pretty sure. 
That's okay. What kind of farming is being discussed at the conference? I listened that growing inside. Okay. And which photo illustrates the topic? Maybe number B. two. B. B. Okay. Now, I'll go ahead and check. Listen and read at the same time. By the year 2025, the world population is expected to rise to 8 billion. In order to grow enough food, it is estimated that 1 billion hectares, almost 2.5 billion acres, of new land will be needed. That is, if the farming methods that are practiced today continue. Environmentalists say something must be done if food shortages are going to be avoided. That's why the idea of vertical farming is being discussed at an eco-conference this week. Celia Hernandez, our environmental correspondent, joins me. Celia, what is vertical farming and where did the idea come from? The idea was developed by Dixon Despomier, a professor at Columbia University, back in 1999. Vertical farms are basically high-rise greenhouses that can be built in cities. So crops will be grown indoors and in water instead of in soil. And what are the advantages of growing food in this way? Well, supporters say it's more reliable because crops won't be affected by weather conditions like drought or cold. It's also more environmentally friendly because waste can be composted and water will be recycled. And because crops will be grown, harvested, and consumed in the same urban area, transportation costs will be greatly reduced. Okay. There you have it. Now, who is Celia? The environmental correspondent. What are the predictions for the year 2025? Um, to rise to 8 billion. What, what is, that's in complete. Complete sentence, please. The that's it, I think. The world population is expected to rise to 8 billion. Very good. What kind of farming is being discussed at the conference? Uh, vertical farming. Vertical farming. And which photo illustrates the topic? B. What? I think it's B. It's B, vertical farming. Yeah. Vertical. Okay. Very cool, very cool farming, okay? okay? Yes? All right, now answer the questions about the interview. Why is very cool farming an important topic? Do you not remember? Because, because in the future, um, we uh, we need we will need more land to grow uh, our vegetables and fruits. Ah, and there. Yes. We... Why is vertical farming an important topic? Yes, Lilia. Why? To grow enough food, it is estimated that one billion hectares, almost two point billion acres of new land will be needed. That is, if the farming methods that are practiced today continue. Yeah? Is that it, ladies? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, very good. Hi, Leslie, how are you? Fine. What will vertical farms look like and where will they be? With a, uh, um, a tower, like a tower. Yes, yes, but Liana, the answer is here. Can you find the answer here? Okay, okay, I... 
I'm going to look looking for. Virtual farm has a solid head drive changes that can be bought in cities. Can you please highlight it? No, I can. Oh my goodness. <laughs> What's the answer? <laughs> okay. okay, ladies, Liliana, Diana. Yes, high rise greenhouses that can be built in cities. Yes, now ladies, can you please continue with the other two questions and find the answers? I'll be back in one minute. Please mark the answers. Thank you. Okay, let's check. What do you have? In what ways are vertical farms different from conventional farms? Oh, very nice. Crops will be grown indoors and in water instead of soil. Very good. And why will vertical farming probably make food cheaper? Because waste can be composted and water recycled and will be grown and harvested and consumed in the same urban area. Very nice, ladies. Thank you very much, Liliana. Thank you very much, Diana. Awesome. That's really good. Do you have any questions, ladies? No. Do you think it's interesting? Yes. yes. Okay. Now, information focus. How might the journalist you know, imagine a reporter giving the news on TV. How might the journalist say the sentences below? Rewrite the sentences starting with the words given. Use the interview to help you. So, number one, some people expect the population to rise by 3 billion. Now we have to rewrite this sentence again but that way that is written in the article, starting with the population. Can you continue? What's next? You don't know? You can open your books. Open your books, check the, the story, the, the interview, and check how is the structure of this type of sentence. 
the population is expected to rise to 8 billion. The population is expected to rise to, in, that's in the, in the interview, right? And it's in the sentence in the screen is 8 three. billion. But in, in the screen, in the exercise, billion. it's 3 billion, right? A 8 billion. Yeah, that's in the interview. But here on this exercise is three. It, we have the number three because this is an exercise. Correct? Okay, let's continue. What about number two? Dixon Despomier invented the idea. Now we have to rewrite the sentence with the, the idea. idea. was invented by Dixon Despoiner. Despoiner, perfect. And number three, crops. One won't be affect. affected. Affected by weather conditions. Or we can also say by the weather. There. Very nice. So what are we working with? What is this? We have active and passive voice. What's the difference between active and passive? Do you know? Um, the active voice is a, a subject plus verb plus complement. And passive? And passive, um, the, the object now is a subject. And after we use a verb to be, and the verb in past participle, and the subject is at the final be, uh, after by. After awesome. the word, bye. Very good. Elena. So let's continue with this. Here I have an example. Active voice for this image. What's happening in the picture? Can you tell me that sent that image in simple present, please? Somebody is look, look for something. He is looked for. Or is that somebody, a correct sentence? Or maybe he, he, he's opened the door. He's? He is he looking is for. Open the door? I'm sorry. He is looking for okay. something or somebody. He is looking for something. Is that simple present, Liliana? He is. No, present continue. Uh -huh, it's present continue. So in simple present, very simple, we have, like Lilian said, the subject, the verb, and the object. And a sentence in simple present is he opens the door. We have the subject, he. The verb opens with an S because it's a third person uh, singular. Third person singular. 
And then we have the object, which is door. In the passive, we have a different order of the elements. First of all, we have the subject, the verb, and the agent. We no longer have an object. Instead of an object, now we have an agent. And the subject is not the previous one. It's not the same one. It's a different subject. The object is now the new subject. The door, the verb acquires a verb B. A verb B plus past participle verb, which is opens, is opened. And of course, the agent will be the subject in the form of an object by him. And now we have a passive voice sentence. The door is opened by him. We have another image. Can you tell me this image in simple past, please? The dog. Ate uh, chicken? Yes. The turkey. The dog ate our turkey. The subject, the new subject is our turkey. What's next? The verb. The verb, the verb with the verb be in the same tense as this verb. So what do we have? Simple past. What is the verb be in simple past? Was. Was. And then the verb eat in participle? Was eaten. And at the end we have? By the dog. By, by the dog. Notice how the subject is not doing the verb, but the verb is being done to the subject. Another example, she ate pizza yesterday. This is passive or active? Active. 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 And in passive? Pizza was eaten yesterday. One more. I kicked the soccer ball. Is this active or passive? Active. Active. And in passive, how can we say this in passive? The soccer ball was kicked. Another one, my best friend played the guitar. And in passive? The guitar, I have active voice. Uh, the guitar was uh, played by my best friend. Very good, the guitar was played by my best friend. We have uh, a lot of different tenses. Present simple, present continuous, past simple, past continuous, present perfect, past perfect, future simple, future will be going to, model, model perfect. And a quick example with active voice, I have, I do my homework. If this is the active voice, how can that be in passive? What would be passive, guys? My homework is doing, no, is done. My homework is done. Very good. What about this information? The, the subject disappear? It's not necessary. By me? 
Yes, you can say it, but it's not necessary. Because okay. in, passive, in passive voice, this is the most important information. That's why passive. Because this is important. The agent is not important, it's extra information. Okay, thank you. All right, okay. So how do we say this information in present continuous? I am doing my homework. I am doing my homework and in passive, My homework was done. It was? Is this uh, past or present? Present. And was is past or present? Past. past. Is that correct? My homework is... Is being done. You see, is being okay. What about past simple? Can you say it in past simple? I I did I my homework. homework. I did my homework. And in passive? My homework. My homework was done my homework was done very nice past past continuous i i was doing my homework very nice and in passive I was being done. No, no, no. no my my homework, homework was being done. My homework was being done. Very nice. Present perfect. I have. I have done. I have done my homework. Very good. And in passive. My homework is my homework is my homework is no done. it's a past present perfect so my homework has been done what about past perfect I had done my homework. And in passing? My homework had been done. Easy. Future simple. I will. I will do my homework. Very nice. I will do my homework. Any passive? My homework will. My homework will done. Will will be done. My homework will be done. What about Leslie and Diana? Are you here? Yes. I don't hear you. I know. <laughs> okay. I'm Future sorry. with the I can. I. It's okay, Lena. Next. Future with be going to. Yeah. 
I'm I'm going, to, going do my to do my homework. I'm I'm going to do my homework. And passive. My homework is going to do. To be. To be done. And what else? With must. I must, I must do my homework. My homework. And in passive? My homework, my homework must be done. Model perfect with should. I should, I do, should my do my homework. I should have done. Oh, yeah. oh. Model perfect. Oh, yeah. What's model perfect? I should have, have done. done. My homework and in passive? My homework should have been done. Yes, my homework should have been done. Very nice. Now let's practice a little more. We have the same picture. Active voice, subject verb, object. Let's make it in present continuous. What is this present continuous, ladies? Present continuous. He is. He's. Uh, he's opening. Opening. The door. The opening. He's opening the door. And in passive. The door is. Hello. Yes, the door. Yes, the door is being, being opened. Open. Yes, the door has been opened. Very nice. Uh, what about? Simple past. Give me one little second, ladies. I'll be right back in one second. Please complete everything with simple past, please. Open it. He opens. Open. He opens. Open. 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 The door. The door was open. By him. Um, let me check. I took a picture. Fast, simple, right? Yes. Slide. The door. Can you, can you door was can... open. The door. The door was opened by him. Yes, was open. Can you send the picture to the group, please? Uh, yes. Yes. Right. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Can you tell me what is this uh, this story with past simple? He opened, open it. Opened. He opened open. the door. And in passive? They opened. Open. The door what? was opened by him. The door was open. The door was opened. Very nice. Very good. Now, what about past continuous? He was opening. He was opening. And in passive? 
The door, the door was, was being opened. Open. Was being opened. Open. Very good. Yes. Thank you. What about present perfect? He, he has opened the door. He has opened the door. Nice. And in passive? The door has been opened. The door has been opened. Very good. Okay. What about past perfect? He have opened he the door. Had op he had, had opened. He had opened. And in passive? The door had been opened. Had been. Have been perfect. What about future simple? Uh, he will open the door. He will open. Very good. And in passive? The door, the door will, will, be. will be open. Will be very good. What about future will be going to? He is going to open the door. Going to open. And in passive? The door is going to be open. The door is going to be opened by him. Perfect. Uh, model with might. He might he open. Might. And in passive? The door might be open by him. Yes, might be open. And model perfect with could. He could, he could open the door. And I'm sorry, more than perfect. Open. I'm sorry, my mistake. Yes, I don't know who have. said it. He could have open, open, and in the other, in the passive, in the passive. door could have been open. Yes, could have been opened by him. Let's um, check a couple more exercises. Number one, this is un, this is an, a scramble. Can you unscramble them, please? One and two. Uh, in passive? Uh, the sentences are complete. They are used not in order. All you have to do is put them in order. Okay. Two families were rescued by firefighters. Good, yes. What about number two? A car. A car was high school. No. A car was stuck by hailstone. Yes. Hailstone. What what is hailstone? Um, stones. A stones made out of ice. Relative with the the stones, the they are like ice stones, and they rain. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yes. I know the the idea. Yes, there you go. Yes, I Elena? can see in the picture. Yes, you can see it in the picture. Yes, Liliana? Lily? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Yeah, perfect.
I'm sorry. Where is it? Uh, there. Number three. No one was injured seriously. Good. Although the the advert goes before the uh, the adjective. No. no one seriously was injured. <laughs> before no. the adjective. Now it's not next to the adjective. Mm -hmm. No one was injured seriously. Again, seriously is before the adjective. Which one is the adjective? What is the adjective? Injured. Injured is the adjective. So seriously is before the adjective. No one was seriously injured. Perfect. No one was seriously injured. What about number four? A mall was completely destroyed by a fire. Yes, very good. Now I have more examples here. Number one. James sent a letter. Is this active or passive? Active. Active, right? So the first thing I have to do to make it in passive. Active voice. The first thing I have to do is the object as the new subject. What is the object? Letter. Letter. So letter goes at Here. the beginning. A letter. What's next? The verb be in the tense of the sentence. What is the tense? Present. What tense? Simple past. So verb be in simple past and singular because it's a letter. What is that? Be singular in past. What is that? Uh, was. Was, perfect. What's next? The verb of the activity in past participle. What is the activity? Send. 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 In participle is the same. Send. Send. Next. Send. By. The preposition by. And last. James. The agent. By James. By James. Perfect. Now, Liliana, can you please explain to us number two, please? Uh, okay, teacher, the number two. Yes, Joe please. washed the car, washes the car. It's in press in both the active voice. Uh, the passive voice, the car is washed by Joe. Very good. It's correct, can teacher? You, yes, can you please write it? Lily, are you writing? I'm sorry, teacher. I I couldn't activate my microphone. Microphone. Your microphone. But uh, can you write the sentence number two? I, I have to write my my answer, teacher. Can you please? I can hear you. I I, yes, I have to write. Yes, please. Ah, uh, okay, okay.
And ladies, uh, Diana or Leslie, who wants to volunteer? The doctor was called by someone. Can you please write it down? No. <laughs> please. Very good, Elena. That's correct. Bless, bless you. Yes. Leslie, are you in a computer or a cell phone? In a cell phone. Ah, okay. What about you, Diana? Are you in a computer or a cell phone? Computer. Can you please write that down, number three, please? Yes. Very good, really good. Thank you very much, guys. Next, I have more examples. What do you see in the screen? A girl watch the TV. Watch the TV. So my sister watches Netflix. Can you say this in passive, please? Netflix. Was. Netflix is Netflix. watched. Again, one more time, please. Netflix, Netflix was. No, no, was. Netflix is watched by my sister. Yes, Lina, but the pronunciation of the verb is watched. 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 Not, yes. What? Can you try it? Watched. Well, I need, I need a bit more practice. Watch. Watch. It's a little strong. Watch. 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 Okay, let's continue with the next one. Watch. A little better. Now, my mother made hamburgers. Can you say that in passive? Hamburgers was made by my mother. By my mother. Was? Hamburgers. Is that plural or singular? Were made. Yes. Hamburgers were made by my mother. Very good. Hamburgers were made. What about this house? A crew is building a house. In passive? A house? A house is being building by a crew? Nope. Oh, it's a house is being a house is being building no a house is being built built a crew by a crew being built by a crew I forgot the first participle of crew. Uh, the first principle of crew is crew a, a verb? Oh, no, 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 no. Now, what I want you to tell me is you said being built, but which being are you using? Being or being? Uh, we add ing. Yes, with ing. With ing. Why with ing? 
Because yes. here we have this ING. That's correct. There you go. Yes, ladies? That's yes. really good. Thank you very much. Next. And what about this? Chapter one. Somebody has written a book in passive. A book. A book has has been written. A book has been written by somebody. A book has been written by somebody. Yes, but we don't know somebody, so somebody is not important. Okay, okay. Has been. Has been. What been? E N N or I N G? E N N. E N. E -N. In why? Because it is present perfect for why then? Because it's present perfect, that's correct. Has written. So the tense of the sentence is what we use in the new for the verb be in the new sentence, right? So it will be this one. Very nice, ladies. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to show you. You can open your books if you want to. Page 85. Thank you, Diana. Page 85. And the passive. You can use passive to make the receiver of an action the focus when you don't know the doer or if you feel the doer is not important. You can introduce the doer with by if you want to as extra information, but it's not the most important information. The important information is the new subject and the verb. In this occasion, we have active sentences. Experts expect the population to rise. So what is the important part is expert expect the population to rise. So that's the important information. But what about in the passive? In the passive, the important information is the population is expected to rise. And experts, the doer, the actor, the performer is no longer important. That's why the passive. Another one is a professor developed the idea. And in passive, the idea was developed by a professor. They haven't built vertical farms. Vertical farms haven't been built. They're going to discuss the issue. The issue is going to be discussed. They'll grow crops in water. Crops will be grown in water. So all of this, we notice, or let's check that in the active sentences, we have experts, a general expression of people, a professor, an indefinite expression of any professor, a professor. They, indefinite, we don't know who they is, it's just, People, unknown people, strangers. 
they are the same strangers. They'll grow a stranger or people in general. The weather, this is more specific because we have the, the weather. Now that's a specific. And the last one is someone. Someone is indefinite. So the only one that has a specific subject is the weather. And because it has specific, then we have by, is the only one with by, because we have a specific actor, a specific doer. Yes, ladies? Yes. Everything else, we don't have by, no by. Oh yeah, by a professor. Build, discuss in water and must be done, but no by. So listen and check, uh, listen and repeat this. Page 85. You can use the fiction, the feel the doer is doer with by. Active sentence. Experts expect the population to rise. Repeat this. Experts expect the population to rise. Passive sentence. The population is expected to rise. The population, the population is expected to rise. Active sentence. A professor developed the idea. A professor, A professor developed, developed, the developed the idea. Passive sentence. The idea was developed by a professor. The idea was developed by a professor. They haven't built vertical farms. They haven't, they haven't built, built vertical, vertical farms. farms. Passive sentence. Vertical farms haven't been built. Vertical farms haven't been built. Active sentence. They haven't built vertical farms. They haven't built vertical Passive. farms? Vertical farms haven't been built. Vertical farms Vertical haven't farms been built. They're going to discuss the issue. They're going to discuss, going to discuss the, the issue. issue. Passive sentence. The issue is going to be discussed. The issue is going to be discussed. Leslie. Yes. You have a lot of background noise. Are you doing something? Really? Your microphone? Yes. No, it's my mom. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Active sentence. They'll grow crops in water. They'll grow crops, They'll grow crops in crops water. In water. Sentence. Crops will be grown in water. Crops will, will be, be grown, grown in, in water. water. Active sentence. The weather won't affect crops. The weather won't affect crops. Passive sentence. Crops won't be affected by the weather. Crops won't be affected, won't be affected by, the by the water. Sentence. Someone must do something. Someone, Someone must, must do, do something. something. Passive sentence. Something must be done. Something, something must, must be, be done. done. All right. Now, in your uh, book, right below the, the chart of the passive, you have this activity. Rewrite the underlying parts of the sentences from the rest of the interview. Use the passive and add by where it is needed. Check this out. By where it is needed only. Then listen and check. The first example we have is, so they will grow crops in water. This is underlined. We have the underline right here. So we need to change this into passive. And the passive is crops will be grown. 
So we don't have by them, right? Not them because they, it's unknown. And because it's, ad, it's unknown, it's not definitive, definitive. So it's not important. So it's only crops will be grown. Okay, so please complete all of the sentences in your book or your notebooks as you please. Uh, let's have five minutes for this. Okay. And at the end of five minutes, we'll compare answers. Okay. Okay, guys, time's up. Are you ready? Not yet. No? Okay, how much uh, longer? One more minute or two more minutes? Maybe two one more minute. What? Okay. One more minute. One more minute, okay. Go ahead, let's hear it. Or do you want to compare answers with your classmates? Okay. Okay, please compare answers. Um, this is done. Yes, I have they, the same. They do this, change to, this is done. Yes, the nutrient is being added. All right, let's see. Diana, can you please uh, type I the answers? Nutrients are at, at. And ladies, can you please uh, tell Diana what to write in each uh, square, in each okay, space, please? Okay. Let me just... Okay. Whenever to you say this is done, right? Right. Okay. The next one. Nutrient is being added. Nutrients are are added. Yes. Yeah, so this in plural. Yes. Nutrients are. Are being added. Being with ing or with an ing? Ing. Only add nutrients are at because it's simple, simple present. Nutrients are at like this. Like this? Uh, yes. Are at, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the next one. I wrote less energy is used by the plants. Seriously? Um, energy is used less by the plants. Like this? Yeah. I wrote less at the at the first at first less energy. Energy is is used 
What do you think? I, the plan. I, I don't really know because they say the plants use less energy. So, so energy is used less by the plants. But on the other hand, less, uh, less, is... less energy is used by the plants. Okay, we can put their option. You say this, right? Yes. yes. Okay. And in the next one. We have in the next one. It's wrong. Wrong. I only wrote is wrong. And you, Leslie? Yeah, me too. Is this right? Okay, so the next one. Too many pesticides are used. Okay, you say one. Too many pesticides are used. That's what you say, right? Yeah. Would you let me to help you? Let's try to make it faster because we don't have much time. I know. Okay, number two. Well, people often say that. Too many pesticides are used by them. I, I use. Okay, next. No. Mm -hmm. What do you have? Pesticides, pesticides. won't be needed by them. Pesticides? No, pesticides Bye. won't be needed. Won't be needed. Won't be what? Won't be needed? Okay. Or I'm not making any smaller. There, next number uh, for this. This is because the crops will be protected. Yeah. The crops? Crop. Yes, the crop will be protected. Will be protected. Okay. Next. So. The use of pesticides will be reduced. Next. Have been contaminated by pesticides. Uh, vertical farms are going to be seen. Are going to what? To be seen. Okay, next. Can be built. Can be built. Mm 
without more research. Next. Some trials. Yeah. Some what? Uh, were carried out. Some what? Trials. Some triads. Where what? Carrier. Is that it? I think by them. And next. A report was written. Was writing or was reading? Okay. But it hasn't been published. It hasn't been published. Next. All right. Listen and check your answers. Uh, Page are you two. Grammar. Going Information. To be B. Rewrite the underlying one. So crops will be grown in water? I know this is done already, but how does it work? Well, nutrients are added to the water, so less energy is used by the plants to get the nutrients. And plants that are grown in this way grow faster and bigger. Two. People often say that too many pesticides are used in farming. Do vertical farms use them? Um, no. Pesticides won't be needed. This is because the crops will be protected inside the building. So the use of pesticides will be reduced. And groundwater, which has been contaminated by pesticides for years, will be cleaner. Three. Now, reports say that vertical farms are going to be seen in our cities soon. Is that true? Well, they can't be built without more research. Some trials were carried out last year, and a report was written, but it hasn't been published yet. I'd say they're not going to be built anytime soon. But environmentalists say the situation must not be ignored, and action should be taken soon, because more food is going to be needed with the population increasing by 5,000 a day. They say that a solution needs to be found soon. Okay, ladies, most of your answers are good. Only three need to be corrected. They are, they have, you have a good idea, but one or two words in each of these answers needs to be fixed. And of course, we need to complete the rest. So check again, that will be your homework. And also, this will be homework, a grammar extra. Okay, okay, which is page 158. Okay. Okay. How was the class, ladies? Interesting. It was really good. It was yeah. a little slow at the end, Active. but I think you guys got it really good. Do you have any questions? No. Excellent. Well, in that case, thank you very much. Have a uh, great day, and I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.